Hi there. Storm Dara at the weekend brought wind speeds in excess of 90 miles an hour in places and widespread damage as well as disruption. This week couldn't be more different. High pressure brings a prolonged settled spell, relatively quiet weather. Although higher pressure doesn't always mean sunny skies. There will be some weather fronts brushing the far north and on the southern flank of the high as well. At least over the next few days, there'll also be some showery rain. This shows the total rainfall accumulations during the next few days, running from Monday up till Friday. And as you can see, showers building up across parts of southern England, uh, Midlands, as well as parts of East Wales during the next few days. And then a sprinkling of showers across more central and northeastern parts of the UK as we end the week. But for some places, the white colours indicating hardly any rain at all. Northern and northwest Scotland, parts of Northern Ireland, Western England and Wales, for example. So we start off Tuesday uh, with those drier parts of the UK, seeing clear skies and low temperatures. Tuesday begins with widespread minus figures across parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland, and in some sheltered parts of Scotland, as low as minus 5 to minus 10 Celsius. We we'll also see some dense fog patches across parts of Northern Ireland into Scotland, especially through the central belt, for example. And because the sun is weak at this time of year, the days are short, that fog could persist all day where it occurs. And where that happens, it's going to feel very cold. Further south, the cloud that we keep overnight keeps the fog away, but it will be low cloud, so a gloomy day to come for the south and southeast. And further showers running in, especially across southeastern England, particularly Kent, on a brisk northeasterly breeze. In that breeze, it's going to feel on the cold side, but temperatures in the south actually around average 7 or 8 Celsius, whereas further north, especially where we keep the dense fog and the freezing fog in places, temperatures will remain significantly suppressed. And then fast forward to Wednesday morning, and it's a similar start to the day. These are the overnight temperatures. And you can see, again, widespread sub-zero temperatures for Scotland and Northern Ireland with dense fog patches first thing. And in some places where the fog hasn't cleared, that will just persist overnight and into the start of Wednesday. Some outbreaks of rain on Tuesday and into the start of Wednesday for the Northern Isles, where it's a little milder with a lot of cloud cover. And likewise, for much of England and Wales, we keep the cloudy skies, although West Wales, parts of northwest England, will start off clearer and colder first thing. Now, there'll be fewer showers across the south on Wednesday. In fact, for many parts of the UK, it's dry. The rain in Shetland will tend to ease off as well. And skies will brighten a little across central parts where we see a lot of cloud through the next couple of days. Some sunshine coming through. But the sunniest places will be away from the foggier parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland. Although, once again, some fog will persist all day with light winds and weak sunshine across parts of Scotland, particularly, again, through the central belt where it will feel cold. Now, heading into Thursday, and a subtle change in the position of higher pressure will lead to some outbreaks of rain being drawn into more central parts of the UK, particularly around northeast England, southeast Scotland. Less rain further south, and uh, with more of a breeze coming into Northern Ireland, I think we'll start off Thursday a little milder and with cloud rather than fog, although there will still be some fog patches across parts of Scotland. Scotland, though, away from any fog patches, we'll see the sunniest skies on Thursday once again, central belt northwards, a brighter day to come for the Northern Isles, for example. But around parts of Northern England into Norfolk, the North Midlands, North Wales, there'll be thicker cloud and some outbreaks of light, showery rain. A few showers coming into the far southwest on a brisk breeze, but otherwise mostly dry towards the south, but again with a lot of cloud cover. Now into Friday, some changes start to take place and they originate over on the other side of the Atlantic. This cold air outbreak across North America will tend to amplify the jet stream so that we get this build of pressure on the other side of the Atlantic. And that's going to push this weather front into northwestern parts of the UK. It's also going to push higher pressure further east, away from the UK. So all in all, uh, Friday looks like a cloudier day for many places as this front comes southeastwards into northwest Scotland and it will bring some showery rain, particularly towards the end of the day. Best of any brightness, first thing will be for the far north of Scotland. Otherwise, for many parts of the UK, Friday is a generally cloudy day. We've got the showery rain still across northern England, pushing north into parts of Scotland. Less fog around first thing because of the cloud cover, but it will be a relatively grey and gloomy day for many.
temperatures of four to six degrees generally. And then we've got those showers pushing into northwest Scotland as we end the day. And they'll tend to push southeastwards as we go into the weekend. Although as that front runs into higher pressure, it will tend to weaken. And that means that the rain will tend to fizzle out as it pushes across Scotland, Northern Ireland, and then into England and Wales later in the weekend. Meanwhile, the jet stream and the uh, weather patterns upstream of the UK will become a bit more uh, energised and that's going to make a return to more changeable weather, more rain and breezier conditions for the northwest as we go into Sunday. But higher pressure just about stays uh, nearby across southern parts of the UK, leading to mostly settled weather throughout the weekend in the south. We'll keep you updated as always on our YouTube channel. But for now, that's all for me. Bye bye.